Hey there, people. If you're here from the part one video, some months have passed between the two videos because there was a big 3.0 update recently. I did part one with another character, Circuit, but Destana's gotten to know Katana and Megara since, and I wanted to change it up and give you a showcase of the new skip mechanic. You get a quiz and you get to skip right to the new content. What do you need, my Thane? Then there's the option to skip to the end if you've played it and are starting a new character and want Katana Megara and Shale from the beginning. Follow me. I need your help. Let's not waste any time. As always, dates and times are important and prominently displayed in my videos. I'd be honored to be your steward. You've built a fine steading here. It's time for us to part ways. I will be back at your house if you need me, Thane. Here I am just milking my cow before I head out. This takes place a month before the new Valserano content. If you ever want to watch this in chronological order, go to the Dragon Family playlist. Need a ride? By the way, I've got Dragonborn voiceover, but not for this mod specifically. Are those new clothes? Looking good, Katana. How's Megara? Probably eager to see you. You've been busy, traveling all around. Let's not keep Meg waiting. I want to see her. <laughs> well, it'll make her day when she sees your face. But enough about that. I have an idea. How about we play a game? I'll ask you some questions. If you get all the answers right, I have something for you. What if you get even one wrong? You have to help me take care of a problem. I'm in. First question. What's my saber cat's name? Takio. That's my not so little boy. Next question. What nickname did Megara give you? Well, technically it was Sir Cat, and it was Bandit's Bane. Excellent. One last question. Where does Megara like to stay in Whiterun? The Drunken Huntsman. Maybe I made the game too easy, but I promised you something if you win. So here. It's nothing special. Just a little something to keep you warm. Now why don't we go get Megara? She must be at the Drunken Huntsman. Funny, I was just thinking about you, and here you are. So glad you're here. Meg, good to see you. You too. It's been a while. Actually, I was starting to worry something terrible had happened. Nope, just the terrible twos. Times two. Thankfully, I have Runa and Iona. Also, taking classes in Solitude and Winterhold. Well, if you feel like easing my worries and having some company, I'd love to join you on your travels. I'd feel better if I could be there to heal you when you're hurting. Anyway, thanks for coming to see me. Hello. So I know Circuit was around to help you with your ring when you got here. Do you feel better with the ring than without? I feel a little more whole. Before my mother passed, she gifted it to me. Having it with me is soothing. In a way, it feels like some part of her still exists. I couldn't let River take that from me. Talking about this brings back memories about how I got the ring in the first place. I'm here if you want to talk. I was on my way to visit my parents. It was a normal night. Until it wasn't. When I walked in their front door, the whole place was a mess. The whole things had been thrown about. Doors were left open, furniture had been broken, and there were even holes in the walls. My father was laying in a crimson puddle, already gone. Von Limon was alive, barely. Her voice was ragged, barely a whisper, as she told me the ravens had come for them. And for the ring, she'd hidden it. And before she passed, she told me where it was, and that the ravens can never be allowed to get their hands on it. She tried to say more, but I, I lost her then. The ring was the last thing she gave to me. Sorry, I, I know that was a lot. Please don't say anything. 
Where'd you learn to shoot that barely fireball gadget on your hip? Some kind of mini cannon? Weapon arts has always been a specialty of my family. It was my parents who taught me how to use a rifle, like theirs taught them. Call it a family tradition, I guess. Ah, rifle. I prefer the feel of a bow. Could I borrow it? Sure. Just kidding. Don't take it personally, but I don't really like sharing. Yeah, yeah, I heard that from Sir Kent. Wink, wink. So where are you from anyway? Funny that we're just getting through pleasantries now, isn't it? Somewhere you've probably never heard of. I'm from Arin. It's a different plane. Comparing it to Skyrim, there's no doubt that Arin is more advanced. Still, there's beauty in Skyrim's simplicity. If you were ever to see Arin, you would be shocked though. I don't know. I've met three Diedrich princes now. So a different world, huh? That explains a lot. What's that supposed to mean? You're different from people in Skyrim. Well, that's true. Ever thought about settling down and getting married? You two probably have more money than you know what to do with at this point. It's something I've thought about a lot lately. Someday, yes. Foreshadowing. But I just don't feel ready. There's still many adventures to have. Putting down roots doesn't mean an end to all adventure. For now, I'm happier wandering. Oh yeah, who the hell is Shale? A friend. Not one you want to play cards against. Unless you enjoy losing. <laughs> We deserve this. Plans to make Shale romanceable in the next update? Hey, um, before we go, I'm going to get that hug I asked for and elsewhere. How did you know I needed a hug? Well, hello there. You must be the luckiest woman in all of Skyrim to have caught my eye. What? I know you heard me. Hmm, must have been the wind. The wind could not blow as hard as I am, falling for you. Right. Your lungs must be so strong. <laughs> Tell me, dark-haired beauty, do you believe in love at first sight, or should I walk by again? Walk away, forever. <laughs> no one could say that to Chadron and mean it. My jewel, mark my words. I will sweep you off your feet, but it does not have to be today. Or ever. I love Meg. <sighs> Her comments are the best. I know just the thing to cheer you up after whatever that was. Unlimited mead. <laughs> Close. I've heard there's a festival happening in solitude. I'm not entirely sure what it's about, but I bet it's worth a trip. Can't say festivals have always gone well for me. And I really want that mead. Maybe Haunting Brew instead? Or how about both? Both? I love that! I don't want to miss the festival, but wherever you want to go first works for me, friend. I know I did some of the Chadron stuff before, but it's been expanded. I think both. Both? Both. 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 What is happening? You know what we need? <gasps> we need a treat. But not the same old ones we always get. Something new. No point messing with something that doesn't need fixing. Off to the bannered mare then. Again? No, I told you. I want something new. Maybe without raisins or with some other kind of nuts. Different nuts. Different deep boss. That's the me talking. You don't mean it. Besides, I want the same old nuts and the same old treats, like always. Just this once. We'll go to the Drunken Huntsman, see what kind they make. You might even like it. You want new nuts in your honey nut treats? I've got something for you. Try these nuts. <laughs> Here, read it later. Oh, look. That's the kind of juvenile humor I can appreciate. So, made? Time for something sweet. I guess he doesn't have anything to say to me. How long would you like to stay? 
What happened? I'm not interested, Jari. It doesn't matter how many times. Well, this isn't my idea of fun. Nagara? Hey, don't look at me like that. I must have mixed up the dates. But on the bright side, the journey here was wonderful, wasn't it? Ah, my jewel. How delightful to cross paths with you here. What luck. I was just thinking about how much I missed you. But of course you were. And your heart has led you straight to the very treasure you sought. I am the ornate chest you journeyed to find. And you must be my key, for you have unlocked my deepest desires. Lock those back up, please. She's so witty. You took the words right from my mouth. He's obviously beyond help. Solidarity org in the background. Do yourself a favor and forget I exist. How could I? You fill my thoughts with your beauty. I won't be forgetting you anytime soon. I might have a potion to help you with that. <sighs> Even if someone else didn't have my heart, I wouldn't care about your desires or what fills your giant's hollow head. If you see me again, pretend you don't. Still playing hard to get? Well, my dazzling gem, I love games. I won't give up until you're mine. You think I'm some trophy? <laughs> <laughs> Just some friendly advice? You might want to rethink this. She's into ladies. So, wine? Even better. Wine on the road? Any idea where to go, friend? Huh. <laughs> Anywhere but here. Megara? What if we... Visit Riften? I do love Riften. Word is, there's a plant growing near the city that's said to induce happiness. I'd love to study it. My friend, when you have a moment, could we go? And find the plant that makes you feel good? We can all study it together. <laughs> study, huh? The Black Briars oh, basically own Riften. The idea of them reminds me of what I escaped from, but covered with a lot more sugar. Maybe someone else already picked the special one? Are you... F you kidding me? Unbelievable! I promise I didn't know. I'm innocent! What a pleasure to see you again. But is it just me, or do you look tired? You must be, because you've been running through my mind all day. Dude is a walking cliche. Was it? This ends today. If we meet again, and you say one word to me, you'll wish you hadn't. Ah, your mood is sour today. Well, whatever beast has upset you could not possibly be me. There is no need to misdirect your rage on someone who does not deserve it. But not to worry, I understand. I, too, often deal with great pain because of my great beauty. <sighs> okay, I can't take this anymore. Let's go somewhere a guy like him never would. Any suggestions? Uh, maybe... Riverwood? We could just stand on the bridge and listen to the river. Hmm, that does sound nice, doesn't it, friend? At this point, I'll try anything. Takiyo, you make every journey better. My sheer masculinity drew you here. I didn't think it? we're cursed. Well, I am. You simply can't resist me, can you? It is always a good day when my future wife is near. As I gaze upon you, I can't help but be humbled by a beauty almost as magnificent as mine. I warned you. Well, I admit, the nice way doesn't always work. And he needs to learn a lesson. We don't have to hurt him. Much. Draw your blade. Test. 
Now, why would I ever do a thing like that? Then don't defend yourself. I don't care. Am I? Whoa. Why is he coming after me first? It'll take more than that to finish my charm. My impeccable outfit. I've been trying out new weapons, by the way. This time it's Obsidian Axe. No one takes a hit with such waste like Cadillac. It'll take more than that to the He's pretty strong. No, not a stunning face. You'll fall for it. It can't be helped. Will you really steal such manly charm from this world? It would be hideous without me. Really? Because I was thinking the opposite. Katana, wait. Fine. If I see you again. You will not. Try not to be too heartbroken when you see your perfect man turn his back. Impossible. I'll never recover. Since I don't think you can tell, she's kidding. Oh, and before you go, remember, you might end up on the pointy end of someone's sword if you don't listen when they tell you to walk away. Wise and beautiful. Perhaps I... Not another word. Unless you don't enjoy living. <sighs> That's right. Walk away. For the last time, please. Sorry to disappoint. Um, Katana, I swear I didn't know Chadron was here. It was just really bad luck. This takes place after the non-romance that I did in the last video. I hear the Morside Inn is practically knee-deep in cheese, but starving for customers. We should fix that. What's the y'all going to do about it? Jobal Kajé, Megara. This one would say he is pleased to see you, but... Your spectacles! So, you're all thorough. Maybe you've guessed, but I'm Katana. I heard you had a hand in digging up some information I needed. That this one did, yes. Your hunt for the raven proved successful, Alfaro hopes. You could say that. All those knots I'll have to work out later. Loosen up, silly. I promise he's a friend. We found River, and everything turned out well enough. This one is pleased to hear so. And who is this Oz you are traveling with? Their scent is odd, unfamiliar. This is a friend. Quite a helpful friend. Destana, no last name. Hello? Drask I, Trevan of Megara. About those specs, did you break them? No, you are all smudges in this one's vision for a different reason. Alfaro will be honest with you. He and the Falmor have a history that is best left unsaid, especially in this place. Same. Yet history catches up with Kajit. He often finds himself crossing paths with them, so he must travel often. Two Kajai ago, this one tracked alone Justica to a camp in the swamp nearby, and had an unfortunate counter with several who had been following him, unnoticed. During the scuffle, this one, well, he dropped his spectacles. Do not look upon Alfaro with such an expression. His spectacles became lost, blending with the grass or maybe sinking into the waters. He could not see to know. You couldn't see? How did you fight? <laughs> Alfaro can handle any farm or Mibek. He has done so so many times, though he admits this encounter was not an easy one with his foes barreling into the surroundings. Kajid still managed to slay three of the five, and the others scattered, as all vermin do. He did not wait for them to realize his sight fails and return for him. He fled the swamp. 
The trees were sad to see this one go, bumping him many times to keep him with them, but the scent of a meal was a trusty guide. Even with soggy boots and no spectacles, Alfaro made it here. Impressive you survived that attack. Outnumbered and impaired. Too bad it wasn't you I found in the Wicking Skeever. Instead of her friend. She doesn't mean that. Don't I? <laughs> I'm only kidding. Althoro is amazing, though, isn't he? Many thanks, but this one is skilled only because he must be. So... I'll go get him for you. No questions asked. Cage crimire sogier, Trevan. Moon smile upon you, friend. This one remembers being near Muvar's lair when the Falmor ambushed him. Swift hunting. Not the elite Dalmer. Do you think this staff makes me look intimidating? No. Wound test. Longbarn, you always make me smile. Found your glasses. This one is pleased to see that you are safe. You were right to stay here. The Thalmor were waiting for you. Too bad for them. They found us instead. Adfaro can only repay you with his gratitude. And perhaps uh, this sweet roll. With his sight restored, Kajit will leave soon. How soon? Maybe a day or two. Can't you stay just one more week? This one is afraid his time here has run out. The Falmor will come looking for him once more when their agents do not return. If more time here is what you want, we can protect you. That is a kind offer. But Alfaro has his own path to follow. This one cannot thank you enough for your help. I wish you could stay, but I understand. It was so nice to see you. I hope we meet again. While you're still here, maybe we could have a drink. This one would enjoy the company. Cheers. Katana. Picture you and me. Leading the Raven. 